Martin Lawrence has broken his silence on Jamie Foxx's mysterious medical condition, and fans are saying Jamie's situation is very similar to Martin's infamous 1996 breakdown when he claims someone tried to kill him. So many things that black people have been through, and the comedians that, that represent are the culture, you know, we represent the culture from our pain. Jamie Foxx is still in the hospital recovering from an undisclosed and serious medical condition. Fans are getting increasingly worried for Jamie because there's so much speculation in the media about his condition and yet no one knows for sure what happened. In fact, one insider recently told people that although Jamie is awake and alert, not even doctors know what happened to him and they're still running tests trying to figure it out. In the meantime, celebs have started speaking out on Jamie's hospitalization and their reactions raised even more concerns because it seems like Jamie's closest friends are in the dark about his condition. But the most disturbing part about this story are rumors that recently popped up claiming that someone tried to take Jamie's life. And now that Martin Lawrence is speaking out on Jamie's situation, fans are speculating that the powers that are in Hollywood are controlling celebs who try to break free of their control. What is happening in Hollywood that a guy that tough will be on the street waving a gun, screaming, they are trying to kill me? Yeah. So what is going on? What did Martin Lawrence say about Jamie's situation? It's been over two weeks since Jamie Foxx was admitted to a hospital in Atlanta after suffering a mysterious medical complication. Now, it's completely understandable that Jamie's family wants to protect his privacy at this moment. But what's strange is that over the past few days, there's been an uptick in celebs posting about Jamie on social media and reminiscing about their favorite moments together as if he's no longer around. You have to admit, it is really bizarre because if Jamie's family asks for privacy and if he's really recovering, why are Jamie's celebrity friends sharing all these tributes on social media? Fans are now really worried about Jamie because judging by all the posts from celebs, it sounds like Jamie is still not out of the woods. One fan wrote, This entire Jamie Foxx mystery illness is one of the oddest things I've seen recently. Neither his PR team nor his family have released any details of what happened. Yet I keep reading news articles of celebrity tributes to him. So strange. But what's even more strange is that disturbing rumors recently popped up claiming that the police are now involved in this case because someone alleged allegedly tried to take Jamie's life. One fan on Twitter claimed that Jamie Foxx told the cops somebody tried to kill him and added, I'm telling you, man, it's like they have a timer on these celebs' lives. I believe him. But where did these rumors even come from? Why would someone want to take Jamie's life? Well, going back to Martin Lawrence, many fans are starting to point out the chilling similarities between Jamie's hospitalization and Martin's infamous 1996 incident. In May 1996, Martin was arrested after being found wandering in the middle of a busy LA intersection, holding a gun and screaming, they're trying to kill me. The tabloid were quick to label Martin as a crazy drug addict. However, Martin later claimed that the media totally exaggerated his substance use. While Martin didn't deny that illegal substances played some part in his past incidents, he also claimed that most of the stories being pushed in the media were completely fabricated, including the reports that he suffered from bipolar disorder. They made up a lot of things to sell a better story, Martin said. You don't know what it's like until you've been through it. Interestingly, this is also very similar to what Kanye West went through in 2016 when he was hospitalized and put under a psychiatric hold. TMZ reported at the time that Kanye suffered some kind of episode while at the house of his former personal trainer, Harley Pasternak. Together with Kanye's personal physician at the time, Dr. Michael Flarzam, called 911 telling them to bring the paramedics because Kanye would definitely need to be hospitalized. I'm actually uh, one of his doctors. I'm just calling for my cell phone to request if we can have some police backup because uh, I don't think the paramedics, you know, you police. can bring both. I, 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 yeah, yeah I think he definitely is going to need to be hospitalized, so I wouldn't just do the police by itself. But what's crazy about this is that last year when Kanye found himself under backlash for exposing shady Hollywood executives, Harley Pasternak texted Kanye and threatened that he would institutionalize him again and send him back to Zombieland. I have you institutionalized again where they medicate the crap out of you and you go back to Zombieland forever. Play date play date with the kids just won't be the same. This is the way a Hollywood a Hollywood trainer was talking to me. So if Hartley threatened Kanye that he would send him back to an institution, does this mean he orchestrated Kanye's first hospitalization? Well, this certainly makes you wonder if Martin also suffered a breakdown back in 1996 because someone tried to institutionalize him, or worse, and then when they didn't succeed, they started pushing this narrative that he's mentally ill. After all, we can't forget that Martin's longtime friend, Dave Chappelle, openly blamed Hollywood for what happened to Martin, and he said that someone as strong as Martin would never snap like that for for no reason. So let me ask you this. What is happening in Hollywood that a guy that tough will be on the street waving a gun, screaming, they are trying to kill me? Yeah. What's going on?
Why is Dave Chappelle going to Africa? Why does Mariah Carey make a $100 million deal and take the clothes off on TRL? It, a weak person cannot get to sit here and talk to you. There ain't no weak people talking to you. So what is happening in Hollywood? Nobody knows. But if someone is really trying to take out these celebs or make it look like they're crazy, why would they do that to Jamie Foxx, one of the most unproblematic men in Hollywood? Well, Jamie's fans are now speculating that Jamie recently tried to break free from the Hollywood higher-ups and take control of his career. A few years ago, Jamie announced that he would be directing his first movie, a sports comedy called All-Star Weekend starring himself, Robert Downey Jr., Ava Longoria, Jeremy Piven, Gerard Butler, and Benicio Del Toro. By 2020, the filming was done and the movie was all already in post-production. However, in August 2022, news broke that Jamie's directorial debut was indefinitely shelved and would never see the light of day. And while it was never revealed exactly why the film was shelved, there's been a lot of speculation in the media that Jamie crossed a certain line with jokes he wrote for the movie and was punished by having his movie taken away from him. In fact, Jamie himself recently hinted that the rise of cancel culture was the reason he wasn't allowed to release the movie. It's been tough with the lay of the land of comedy, Jamie told Cinema Blend. We're trying to break open those sensitive corners where people people go back to laughing again. So basically, it looks like all of this boils down to corporate control. It's why Dave Chappelle turned down a $50 million deal from Comedy Central, why Martin Lawrence was banned from SNL and NBC shortly before his so-called breakdown, and it's also why Kanye said he felt free when Adidas cut ties with him and took away his lucrative contract. For everyone in contracts, I know that this will never happen again in history. There will never be a situation where people end a multi-billion dollar deal off of a tweet. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. So I would like to thank everyone that was involved with this negotiation. Thank God no one was hurt in the process. And I feel free. While this is all still pure speculation, we can't rule out that something similar happened to Jamie Foxx. At the end of the day, we know that most celebrities have very little control over their careers, and people with real power are the ones making decisions for them. But does this mean that these powerful individuals would actually make a celebrity disappear if they tried to break free from their control? Well, that's certainly been a popular theory amongst fans for a while, and after Martin Lawrence recently spoke out on Jamie's hospitalization, his comment reignited the conversation about Hollywood elites and the control they willed over celebs. Extra TV recently caught up with Martin to ask him what he knows about Jamie's condition. And though Martin said he heard that Jamie was doing better, you could tell that he was still very concerned and confused about the whole situation. Well, I hear he's doing better, you know, from what I hear. And uh, my prayers go out for him every night and uh, just wishing the best for him. One of the best that we, we got in Hollywood. Uh, not only uh, one of the best entertainers, but a uh, good person. Many fans are now saying Jamie's hospitalization reminded them of Martin's 1996 breakdown. In their words, someone out there is trying to take Jamie from us. This is the first thing I thought about as soon as I heard the news, one fan said. We be dying to get into Hollywood, but it ain't safe there either, especially if you're not going to do what you're told. And another fan commented, they slipped Martin something, he is not the same, just a shell. They're trying to do that to Jamie. But how do you feel about all these theories surrounding Jamie's hospitalization? Is someone really trying to take out celebrities who refuse to be controlled? Let us know what you think in the comments, and don't miss out on this next story.